First disclaimer, I must say, this has nothing to do with the business I run. I am not here promoting my business. I am not talking about who I work for or anything like that. This is centered around all the experience I have in the financial services and also my life experience. And as we go through this series, I'm going to get into some things that some people might like and some people might not like. I know I'm not everybody's cup of tea, as it were, but I want to come from the point of view where I can meet you where you are. And I think that's where we should always start when it comes to finances. Finances is something that is very near and dear to my heart, just because I understand the relationship that most people have with finances. Being in financial services, you can start to realize how people treat money. The first step in your financial journey, regardless of where you are, you need to define your relationship with money. Now, what does that mean? What does that look like? And what kind of steps and what, where would you get the knowledge to look into this stuff? Realize what you think money is for you. For some people, money is the thing that they need to be able to survive. For others, money is evil. For others, money is really good. Money is an indifferent sort of thing for some people. Taking stock of where you are today will definitely determine where you're going to go on your journey with finances. When I talk about meeting people where they're at with finances, when I sit with people and we talk about savings, some people are naturally adverse to savings and investing. However, some are not. And that's just based on their relationship with finances. Historically speaking, somebody could have had a bad experience with investing before. Somebody could have had a great experience with investing. Somebody could have had a bad experience at a bank. Somebody could have had a great experience at a bank. So this is where your relationship with finances is really important. Where are you today? And where do you want to go? A lot of people say they want to retire. Now, what does retirement look like? These are all things that everyone should be writing down, taking notes on, figuring things out. I'm always looking at getting better. I'm always looking at advancing even where I'm at. And when I talk to people about their current situation, the first question is, okay, where do you want to go? What does retirement actually look like for you? Because a lot of people have this sort of, you know, great idea. Oh, yeah, you know, I'll get to a certain age and I'm just going to sit and do nothing. To some, that might be a great idea, but to others, is not. And at what age does that happen? And at what stage of life does that happen? So the first step is, again, realizing where you are in the journey of finances. And the second is, where do you want to go? Your relationship with money is also very important when it comes to everything else that money is able to do for you. I'm just going to pick one subject here, investing. When you say that to some people, some people think that's like gambling. Some people think that investing is a good idea. And to some, they have no idea. They don't know where to start. So everyone is different. And when you realize where you are on your journey concerning investing, you need to understand, am I happy where I am? Or do I want to be in a different place? If you're happy with where you're at, great. This series will give you a little bit more information on the mental attitude of finances and how it should be approached or how you could approach it. But if you're not happy with your st current stance in your finances or your relationship with money, then this is going to be a great series because this is going to teach you how to have that relationship and what sort of things you should be doing. So the first step is if you're not happy, go and talk to someone that you would want to be like at their stage. That's very simple. Again, going back to some of my other videos of surrounding yourself with people that you, like you want to be like, and you're the average of the five people you hang out with. Well, if you're hanging out with people that are broke, you're going to be the fifth person that's broke. The second thing you can do is you can start to read books on how to develop the ability to be able to have a better discussion and understanding of where you're at with your finances. So I highly recommend reading The Wealthy Barber. That is one of the first books I read 
about finance. It's important to make sure that the people you surround yourself with are going to make you better. The wealthy barber will teach you a lot of basics. Comment down below what sort of other books you have read have made a difference in your financial journey. Understand also that your journey with finances is ever evolving. It doesn't mean that where you are today, you have to be in even a week from now. Just a little bit of a mind shift will allow you to look at things differently. Having the ability to be surrounded by good people and by people that want you to get better will help you in that journey. If you're not happy, change. Simple as that. It's very complicated because people make it complicated and we're all complicated people. However, it is just that simple. I hope you found some value. I could go on forever about how certain people react to finances. Some people, I want to make it clear that money is something that everybody needs to deal with, whether you like it or not. It is not something that you can avoid unless you've been given a silver spoon and you don't have to worry about finances. But for the majority of the people that I meet, it affects them all. And it affects me as well. Your journey is your journey. And your journey with finances is something that you can control. Understand that. Again, if you're not happy with where you are, you need to change. Comment down below and let us know where your struggles are with your finances. What stage of the journey you're at with if you're happy or if you want things to grow or if you need to learn or you need a resource or if you have a suggestion for some people that are struggling and not liking their financial situation, let us know. This is meant to be able to help people. Again, I'm not providing specific details on how to invest or do anything of the sort. The first step, again, is to make sure that your relationship with money is a healthy one. And we want all relationships to be healthy. If you found some value, make sure you like and subscribe. And please comment. Let's get this moving so people can get into a better state with their finances. Ultimately, that is the goal that everyone does not need to struggle with their finances. But again, it becomes a personal decision on how you treat money and how money then in return treats you. If you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe. I look forward to continuing this series and expect the video out next weekend. Have a great day, everyone.